Okay, so let's have a look at part two of the stock valuation for 2021. Question eight. So it says prepare a trading account for your ended 31st, 2020. So we're going to have our heading trading profit and loss account for your ended 31st to the 12th, 2020. Our sales figure then. So remember, we have our sales already calculated from part one. So you go to part one. Go to your total column and we have 90,650. That's your sales. Remember your trading account is your sales. That's your cost of sales, which is your open stock. So your open stock is in the question. So it says 4,700 units at five euro each. So 4,700 multiplied that by five. It's going to be your open stock of 23,500. We're going to add your purchases. So remember your purchases is already calculated uh, calculated as part of part A. So we go back to your purchase section and you've got 69,500. We're going to add those two figures together. And from that then we're going to take away our closing stock. So remember your closing stock has been calculated in part A already. The value of it is here, 51,250. So we're going to take those two figures, 93,000 away from 51,250. And then to get your gross profit then, you're going to take the 90,650 away from the 41,750. And 3 minus, we got 48,900. So remember your sales is taken from part one. Your open stock is taken straight from the question. Your purchases is taken from part one. Your closing stock then is also taken from part one. And that will help you calculate the goods available for resale. And that's going to be taken away from your sales figure to give you a gross profit. And that's how you calculate the part B or part two of part A for your stock valuation.